In this video, we discuss how to carry out the order of operations. When we have multiple operations in an algebraic expression, we have to do them in a certain order. And that order is here in this blue box in the middle of the page. First, we perform all operations within grouping symbols. So within parentheses, brackets, or braces. And we work from the inside out if there's multiple sets of these grouping symbols. After that, we evaluate exponents or square roots. Then we multiply or divide from left to right. Finally, we add or subtract also from left to right. To help us remember this, we have an expression, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS for short. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and then S for subtraction. Let's practice with some examples and exercises. In this example, we have 3 squared times 2 cubed. So we have PEMDAS and we work through the steps. So parentheses, there are none. So we move to exponents. There are exponents. 3 squared is 9. 2 cubed is 8. So we have the exponents calculated. Then we go to multiplication. 9 times 8 is 72. And we're done. There's no more operations. We have one number. We're done. Then in the next exercise, simplify 100 minus 5 squared times 4. So we look for parentheses. There are none. And we go to exponents. So we do have an exponent on the 5. That becomes 5 squared is 25. Then we go to multiplication. We're not going to subtract yet. Uh, we multiply first. So 25 times 4 is 100. So we're done with our multiplication. There's no division. There's no addition. So we do the subtraction. 100 minus 100 is 0. Let's try an example with parentheses. So in this example, 3 plus 4 squared plus 8 times 4, we're going to begin by looking for parentheses. We do see parentheses here, the 3 plus 4. So we're going to simplify the expression inside the parentheses first. 3 plus 4 is 7. So we have 7 squared plus 8 times 4. So the 7 squared is 49. So we have our exponent there. Then we're going to do the multiplication. We have an 8 times 4 giving us 32. There's no division. We do have addition here. So 49 plus 32 is 81. And we have our final answer there. Let's try another example with parentheses. So the 1 plus 3 becomes a 4. So that's going to be a 4 cubed. We move on to exponents. There's a 4 cubed, which is 64. Then we go to multiplication. 5 times 64 is 320. We're not going to do the subtraction yet. We're going to do the 2 times 4, which is 14, plus 6. There's no division here, so then we do addition or subtraction by going from left to right. So we see the subtraction. If we start from the left and move to the right, we see the subtraction before the addition. So we'll subtract the 14 from the 320. And then we add the 6 to the 306, giving us 312. In this next example, we see 
something a little bit more complicated, we have a fraction. And often when we have a fraction, what we can do is simplify the expression in the numerator first, then simplify the expression in the denominator, and then we can carry out the division and have our answer. So what we'll do is we'll do PEMDAS for the numerator, and we'll do PEMDAS for the denominator. So we start with the parentheses, and here we have parentheses within parentheses. So we're going to start with the innermost. We're going to go 2 times negative 6, giving us negative 12. So we have 5 minus 3 plus a negative 12. And again, we'll leave that denominator alone for a second as we simplify the numerator. So we're still working on simplifying within the parentheses. So we'll go 3 plus a negative 12, giving us negative 9. Then to simplify the numerator fully, we'll go 5 minus a negative 12. Uh, so, sorry, 5 minus a negative 9, giving us 5 plus 9, which is 14. So we have the numerator fully simplified. Now we'll apply PEMDAS to the denominator. So P for parentheses, there are none. E for exponents, yeah, we see that 3 squared is 9. Then the only thing remaining in that denominator is to add the 9 and the 2, giving us 11 for our final answer of 14 elevenths. And our final example here, we see parentheses, so we'll simplify within the parentheses first. So the 3 cubed will be 27. Twenty seven plus three is thirty. So we have that numerator simplified, then we'll simplify the denominator inside the parentheses. So that'll be thirty divided by six. Finish that up over here. So thirty divided by six is five. So the parentheses, the expression inside the parentheses is fully simplified, so then we'll go to exponents. 5 squared is 25. There's no multiplication or division, so we can go to the addition, which is 26.